Hello everyone and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths, I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are doing some more OCR FSMQ lessons on the new spec and today we are talking about the equation of a straight line. So we've been doing a lot of uh, line geometry recently and this is the, the sort of last part of that I guess uh, where you can use uh, coordinates and stuff to, to name uh, the equation of a straight line but uh, the, the specific learning objective is to be able to use algebra to state the equation of the straight line. So a straight line has two features as we've discussed. Uh, it's got a gradient which is how steep it is and a known point and uh, these define the line. So if we look at the graph there, the red line, we know that the, the gradient is for every one along it goes one up, so the gradient is one. Uh, for the other one, for every one along it goes three up, so it's three. So the red line is y equals x plus two, and uh, the black line is y equals three x minus two. So it's, it's not hard to, to get the names of these lines uh, by looking at the pictures. You know, we can count how many squares along it goes to work out the gradient and stuff. But the question is, can we name a graph without its picture? Good news, there is a formula. Otherwise, this video wouldn't be a thing. There is a formula to generate the name of the line. All you need is its gradient and the known point. So, if you'd like to name a line with a gradient M... Um, and uh, that passes through a, a, a co any coordinate a b then we use this formula y minus b equals m brackets x minus a so write that down whatever you want imprint it into your memory um, so b is the, the the y coordinate and a is the the x coordinate and funnily enough they're paired together so y minus b equals gradient brackets x minus a so they're, they're, they're sort of uh, grouped together um, in, in the coordinates uh, in the formula so example one what is the equation of the line that passes through 3 7 with a gradient of 2 well we quote the formula y minus b equals mx minus a we then substitute in so our b value is 7 our a value is 3 and our gradient m is 2 so we stick them numbers in, y minus 7 equals 2 times x minus 3. We then expand the bracket. On the other side, being very careful of course, y minus 7 equals 2x minus 6. And then we take the minus 7 over the other side. And hey presto, we have our um, equation of a straight line, y equals 2x plus 7. Now if you want to check that, you can put this... Um, x to be 3 and uh, y to be 7 and you should get 7 equals 7 basically so um, 7 on the left hand side there is 2 times 3 plus 1 so 7 is 7 looks pretty good to me example 2 what is the question uh, the, what is the question uh, good question what is the equation of the line that passes through 4 minus 1 with a gradient of 2 thirds well quote the formula y minus b equals mx minus a we then substitute our numbers in so our b is minus 1 here uh, our a is 4 and uh, our gradient m is 2 thirds so substitute that in very careful of double negatives y minus minus 1 equals 2 thirds of x minus 4 then what I would do here is uh, multiply everything by 3 uh, just to make sure uh, that we get rid of that ugly fraction uh, and then obviously expand the bracket out on the left but uh, if that's too many steps for you just take a piece of paper now multiply everything by 3 to get rid of this fraction the 2 will drop down it'll be 2 uh, times x minus 4 and that's where you get your 2x minus 8 from and I've got rid of the double negative uh, minus minus equals plus so it's 3y plus 3 is equal to 2x minus 8 so tidy that up and then you get 3y equals 2x minus 11 and if you uh, want to um, put that into y equals mx plus c form we say y equals two thirds of x minus uh, 11 over 3 so check that then so 3 times minus 1 is equal to 2 times 4 minus 11 so that should be minus 3 equals minus 3 and it is 8 minus 11 is minus 3 so again that's pretty good 
But what happens if we're not given the gradient? Well, we have a bit of a problem. We need a point and a gradient for this uh, equation to work. So, um, yeah, we don't have M. We can give it in terms of M, but we don't have M. So what, are, what on earth are we going to do? We'll have to find the gradient if we want to use this formula. So it's a very good job that we have a formula for the gradient, which we've done in a previous lesson on this channel. It'll be in the playlist, uh, and that is M equals back take back over front take front if we've got two coordinates. So the strategy is clear. We find the gradient using one formula and then use this answer in the other formula. So what is the equation of the line that passes through 7, 13 and 2, 3? So we need to get the gradient first, so m equals back take back over front take front, so it's going to be uh, 3 minus 13, or I've chosen 13 minus 3 this time, and then 7 minus 2. As long as you're consistent with which way around you do it, it really doesn't matter. I've just done it so that it's uh, ni nice sums to deal with. So we've got 10 over 5, which is exactly the same answer as you would get uh, the other way. You'd get minus, five over, uh, minus 10 over minus 5, which is the same thing. Uh, and that cancels down to 2. So we've got our gradient. We then uh, use our line equation, y minus b equals mx minus a. So we put in the, the values, and you pick any coordinate you want. You can pick 2, 3, or you can pick 7, 13. We just need uh, one point that that line goes through and uh, the gradient of that line. We know the gradient is 2, so free reign over which... Um, point you pick from then on. It probably would have been easier to use 2, 3, but I've used 7, 13. You will get exactly the same answer because remember this line passes through both of these points. We then uh, expand that up, so expand the, the right hand side and, and call it 2x minus 14. Then we take the 13 over the other side and call it y equals 2x minus 1. Let's do another one then. What is the equation of the line that passes through 1 minus 2 and 3, 1? Well, first of all, we get the gradient. So back take back over front take front. And um, we say that that is uh, 3 over 2. We then uh, put that into our line equation. Y minus B equals MX minus A. Uh, pick one of your points again. Free reign, 1 minus 2 or 3, 1. Uh, then I would clear the fraction, so times both sides by 2 to get 2y minus 2 equals 3x minus 3. And then expand the right hand side and then tidy up and you've got 2y equals 3x minus 7. You could again divide by 2 then get y equals uh, 3 over 2x minus 7 over 2. But that is that for this uh, lesson of the equation of a straight line. Um, you know, you've got the formula there, you know how to do it if you, you don't have the gradient either, um, and, and hopefully you've found it helpful. Uh, just as a recap uh, for today, the, the equation of a straight line uh, involving coordinates is y minus b equals mx minus a, where your coordinate is a comma b. Um, if we're not given the, uh, and m is the gradient, if we're not given the gradient in the question, then we can work that, use, work that out using our formula back take back over front take front, and uh, just be careful of double negatives of course and uh, stuff like that so if you have found it helpful make sure you leave a like down below if you haven't found it helpful then uh, let me know down in the comments what I can do in the future to improve the uh, link to the lesson is as always in the description so you can go through this at your own pace if you've got any questions let me know down in the comments section below and the best of luck for the rest of your FSMQ and best of luck for the exam.